seem very angry. And here I thought the Chantry was against mind reading. Did something happen to you in the circle? I understand there were problems. So that means he had to come back to the studio. Are you saying a mage can only be unhappy in a circle right? if demons are involved. He's a DLC. No. Where's that? It's not about Aldred. It's not what about being mean? beaten or raped. So by this a is a Templar. DLC character. Yeah. That does happen. That means. But I've been fortunate. Um. It's a larger principle. I had to come back to the studio the to record new lines. Man, yeah. Woman and child yeah. born in Thedas have as a natural right. You were given to the circle. I was given to the Chantry. Hawk was driven away from home by the Darkspawn. None of us are free. Yeah, because I know some bitches are two gold. I know a good time that's 50 silver. <laughs> For the bad boys. Oh no. Only the I'm, baddest of the I'm bad. A, I'm a really bad boy. Hello, is anyone home? Any gay twink elves in here? Hello? Hello? Wait, what? Yeah, what the fuck? The time of day thing. Perhaps. No. Bitch, I need you on my party. What are you doing? Maybe he's hiding in a different room. I'm going about to fucking look. Oh, they're all locked. Yeah, because we're just reusing a mansion. We just destroyed it. Uh huh. Where is this little fucker? Can you at least clean up, you dirty little bitch? Fuck me. That's not his mansion. It is, though. It says Fenris's mansion. It's been very exciting working with Hawk. Are you for real? Huh. It seems like he's involved every time. So I learned something I didn't know just now. <clears throat> After Fenris gets attacked, when you bring him out by the slave hunters or whatever mm -hmm. so that uh, Hadriana hired, all right. I I was if you don't fired. immediately go and like back. deal with Hadriana, and then you have Fenris in your party and you go to High Town at night, you get ambushed again. Huh. That's very specific place timing and party composition, but you get ambushed again, and if you trigger this, Fenris gets mad at you and blames you for the ambush because you didn't go and deal with Hadriana. Instead, you decided to go traipsing on through Hightown at night with a <laughs> former slave in your party. I, I didn't know that. Not with you. I had hoped. Father. I told you it would be too late. Well, good thing we did that, you huh? tried to kill yeah. Marin and Emrys, and you're sad he didn't make it? His betrayal isn't lost on me, Dira. But he'll always be my son. You've given me back two of my boys, Messer. I'm in your debt. Please, take this as thanks. Two gold, woo! Go rescue two, gu two guys. Go to the Hawk Estate. I'm going. And I'll progress the story. Ugh. No, not for that. Mother. Have you ever been to the Hawk Estate? Nope, this is the first oh time. Oh my god. Well, this is where you're supposed to find Fenris. Mm. I don't know if you have to leave and re-enter, because you never came here to begin mm -hmm. with, but... Yeah, bro, go to the fucking Hawk Estate. <laughs> Why have you not gone yet? It's your estate. Gotta check out your crib, y'all. I was delaying it, because story mission. Oh, this isn't gonna start the end of the fucking act. <laughs> it's just show us the beginning. Oh yeah, look at me, all Lord and Mighty. Abilene. I'm guessing that's you our family crest. Nicely. It's been hard work Probably, to get yeah. here. Looks like it. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say. If someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side, inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is Mother. connected, and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. 
That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. Make a habit? Let me look at that butt. I'm, um... It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. Shitty fucking you. I'm so grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. I visited Bethany at the Circle. And she seems happy enough. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. Yeah, you're looking uh, positively old. An elven slave? Make us breath. I hope you know what you're doing. Not a slave. She's a Her worker. Look, a partially burned page from Anders' manifesto. <laughs> what? I like the doggy. Ruff, ruff, ruff. He speaks dumb. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> it looks like they're having a nice chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. Because <laughs> you had a dog. So he never would have said that if you killed the dog. Re Look at how your choices matter. <laughs> Is that for real? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Hey, look. A partially burned pay. I don't Greetings, even think you have Mister. the dog unless you pick a warrior in this one. Hmm. Your home was difficult to find. I don't remember having a fucking I've dog. I've never been out on my own before. But so there's two choices it. you had to make. Yes. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. To hear Sandal barking like an idiot. Cleaning and I can cook. <laughs> not as and then hear the Papa, other but, dog referenced. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? If you're staying here, Arana, it will be as my servant. You mean, I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid like anyone else. I... a slave is all I've ever been, like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. Thank you, Master. You're too good to me. One day I'll see Papa again. Oh, I fucked up. What? I uh, just it locked a uh, dialogue, like investigate and learning about her. Oh mm -hmm. well. If you need any yeah, in Bioware games, always do the investigate first. Yeah. Always. Yeah. It's okay, she's not important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but remember that in the future. Yeah. Always investigate, no matter how terrible it makes the flow of conversation, if there's an investigate, always do that. Yeah. I can't wait for Dragon Age Inquisition when someone brings up how Hawk had a slave and... <laughs> I knew Hawk, he had an elf slave. <laughs> the way fucking these choices go. Enchantment! Enchantment! Just sound. Holy shit! Uh, you have some mail. Kinda stacked up over three years. Oh my god! <laughs> the note addressed to Gamlin. <laughs> the very start of it was, Payments now two months late, Sarah! Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> oh no! It's a pee pee! Advertisement? No! It's it, it's 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 fucking Cialis Viagra. Oh no! Oh no! Modern Bioware would never put that in a game. Oh, what if I was a female? Am I still gonna get it? It's a Nigerian prince scam. It seriously is a Nigerian prince scam. Did you know 
that the average Nigerian in America makes more money than the average white person in America. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, what? If you're Nigerian, statistically, you will make more money than the average white person in America. That's excluding white Hispanics. Is that because the population of Nigeria is so small that the one really, 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 really rich guy brings up the average? No, Nigerians in America. Oh, Nigerians in America. Specifically in America. Hmm. Why? I don't know what they do. It's weird. <laughs> Can you guess what demographic makes the most? Jews? Yes. <laughs> Can you guess who after that? Uh, the Irish? No. The Saudis? No. I mean, Ar- Arabic, but... The Japanese. Oh, okay. Oh, here, here's the, here's the apprentices line you were talking about. Yeah, they said it in the, um, the little three-year transition. Yeah. You know, today's kids are just going to grow up in a world where if a company wants to sell you something, all they do is buy information from you online. Yeah. Or about you from someone else, actually, that you trusted with your information. And that's how they advertise what they want to sell to you. You know, they'll never experience a world where the best that a company could come up with was getting some Asian dude, dressing him up like a clown, and making him dance around. <laughs> I mean, those were the good old days. Yeah. That's mother's room. I shouldn't intrude. I don't spy on your mom, you creep. Handprints. Was someone swinging on the chandelier? How can you see handprints from there? I wonder where Varric is today. Telling stories about my exploits to anyone who will listen, most likely. <laughs> he is. Didn't That's exactly where he is, yes. Somewhere in the Viscount's keep. My room? One of the few things Orana owns. <laughs> oh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. It's a poopy Poor pot. Prince. I told him to stay off the bed. What's this? Oh, Anders Manifesto again. Hey, baby girl. There's an elven woman here, Messiah. She claims she was sent here by you. I, uh, I didn't know where to tell her. Right there. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you. Undeservedly so. I was not myself. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You are generous. When I was still a slave, Adriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, hound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. That's more important than your promise. It's not easy to discover your principles are less noble than you believed. This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again. To know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you These further. These jump cuts are terrible. We're friends, Fenris. I'm not certain I Fendris. know what that is. Fenris. 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 All right, is he done being a sassy little bitch now? Thank God. Those papers weren't easy to forge, you know. I appreciate your assistance. Why don't you just sell Great the start to a conversation? With it. <laughs> Those papers we'll weren't easy reasons. to forge, you know. Have it your way. Talk. It's better than Saul's so making out with your sister, right? Three and... years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinter merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Isn't this what you wanted? Yes, but... I want to Tell feel me, his heart What do you do fingers? when you stop running? You start over. Isn't that what you want? I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. 
I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were? Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me, his little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. Your problems are my problems. Unlucky you. But enough. You have much to keep you busy, I'm certain. Gee, hey, dude, that sucks for you. Yeah, dog. Man, he's getting fucked up on some good wine. At least he's not breaking it anymore. <laughs> Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Vala Fermundis. Care to hear the story? Oh, great. Story time! I thought you avoided talking about this. Yeah, those Not on middle left occasions. question mark anything is always the one you pick first. Mm -hmm. I'd like that. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Denarius during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. Embrace the prejudice. I thought Daenerys considered <laughs> Death to the Kunari. <laughs> he wasn't given a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. How the fuck you find him? Were you with these Fog Warriors willingly? I grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned, and this, this fantasy life was over. But once it was done, I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran, and never looked back. Couldn't you have found other fog warriors? Become a rebel? Even if I did, I felt unworthy. So he killed them, I had even no though he didn't actually knowing if I could to. truly escape from Daenerys then. I didn't even know what that meant. Like it was, he wasn't compelled to, get to do away. it. We did it anyways, and ship still to ran the away and moved south, chased yes. by my former master every step of the way. What a fucking idiot! I have to wonder why you stayed with Daenerys as long as you did. You have not been a slave. A slave does not dream of freedom or wonder at possibilities. You think only of That's your master's lie. desires and what the next hour will bring. It did not occur to me that I could be anything else until I had a taste of it. But there are stories of slaves rebelling all the time. They did in Kirkwall. The ritual that gave me my markings also stripped me of my memory. Whatever I was before may as well have never been. Perhaps if I knew, I might have felt differently. So it's not slaves, it's... Being you. How well did you know these fog warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. They fucked all the I time. I was in Got awe it. of them and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me. Unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest. But by then, I was already gone. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. Perhaps you're right. To you, Hawk. May I fight at your side for years to come. 
Well, it's already been years. I wonder what we did in the uh, the three years. Like in the meantime, sold stuff, bought a house, fixed up the house, got involved in politics. I wonder how the that conversation went to whoever owned the house at, at that specific time. Like, I under I must imagine that he had to want, force that sale at you some really point. You really don't have know? the temperament for a slave. Is that a compliment or an insult? I'm just wondering how your master didn't kill Remember you. Remember how the guy got the house. The he didn't really killed you. pay for the house. He just beat gambling and enough gambling that he kind of got the house. Yeah. He wasn't really, like, using it. The house was empty. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. They mentioned that in the first act. Okay. The house was empty. You could have moved in if you wanted to. Just and fucking squatted. squatted in there. But Hawk wanted to actually officially repurchase and get the deed to the house to try to reestablish his family name. Fuck Gamlin. He should fucking rot in his little hovel. Oh wait, he is. Yeah, that's why he's staying there. Come no closer, Sellsword. I will not give up my kin. Stranger, you help. We split bounty on mages. Coin enough for all. Please, all we want is freedom. If you can stay ahead of the Templars and bounty hunters, what then? We run to Orlais, Ravain, anywhere but here. Some place where the Circle isn't a prison. Undisciplined mages are a danger to themselves and others. They should go to the Circle. And let the Templars do to me what they did to Fainriel? I will not voluntarily don a hangman's noose. Fight for your lives! Your attitude towards mages is really changing over the course of this game. Like, it's... I'm pretty sure if you redid Origins right now, you would have slaughtered every mage in the fucking circle. <laughs> this isn't the hero for Reldon. This is Hawk. This is Hawk. Yeah, this is a different person. He's got he's got a different mindset. More like you're getting sick of mages bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's a blood mage. Oh, you're fucking turbo dead. I have never, never, not killed a blood mage. I have been stout on that. You didn't know these were blood mages. I didn't. <laughs> that would have been a nice thing to know, though. Well, that's the thing. You can't tell what a blood mage is. You're right. You fight good. I keep word. Half of bounty. Damn, dude, you can't Fair fucking talk, can you? Friend. He can't talk, but he can fight. I mean, realistically, that was probably a group of Dalish. Yeah, and fucking Ferris over here. Oh, you did the thing that I like. I still don't live in like that specific time. <laughs> he sure loves to complain at every single point, but sure doesn't like to get praise at every single point. I can't wait to see where you are on Mages vs. Templars by Inquisition. Uh, I, I assume you're just going to be a completely... Like, different. Like, you're gonna get to pick between Templars and Mages, you're not even gonna fucking hesitate. Templars kill all the Mages! I kinda really do wanna just roleplay a, uh, 40k Inquisitor, you know? <laughs> I'm really tempted. You're gonna like the amount of political choices you get to make in Inquisition. In many cases, uh, you can just kill somebody before they even make it to your throne room for judgment. <laughs> like, there's an, there's an option to say, hey, alright, arrest this person and I'll judge them later. You can also play through most of the game without judging anybody and then just judge them all at the end. That's funny. What about and a fair and speedy trial? For a lot of the judgments, uh, you can imprison somebody. And you have a prison in the headquarters and of the Inquisition. Prison. And you can walk through the prison and look at everyone that you've imprisoned. And That's get funny. little dialogues out of them. Imprison the someone at the very beginning of the game, they're just slowly rotting away. Well, uh, I don't remember, but I don't think Inquisition is as much of a time-wide game as this one is. Mm -hmm. I think this one takes place over the biggest period of time. Well, now that you've played through 
a gigantic chunk, almost half of the base game. Much more has happened since three hours in. Mm -hmm. How do you view Hawk compared to the Grey Warden now? They've had a completely different set of, of happenings compared to each other. So, like, the Hero of Ferelden, the way they made the game was too much of a blank slate. Like, it, <laughs> it, it, he was basically just a stand-in for you. Versus Hawk actually has a personality. Hawk's point of view is a lot more gray than the Grey Wardens. <laughs> the one thing that the Grey Warden had that you couldn't change was the desire to fight and beat the Darkspawn. But oh. everything else was pretty much, uh, eh, good, bad, whatever. I just, I'm gonna pick one that helps me, that I think is gonna help me the most on this right. fucking quest. The, the Grey Warden is a much more worldly character. Versus Hawk is like, I am looking out for my family, fuck everyone else. The end. That's why I said Hawk is kind of, kind of just cares about himself and gets involved in everyone else's shit just because it, shit happens around him. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the Grey Warden, who's actively trying to get involved in everyone else's business for a purpose. <laughs> like an oof. What up, girl? Are you the reinforcements? I thought the captain would send more. You're a member of the Guard, right? I'm Lieutenant Harley, and this is what's left of my patrol. This disaster is my first routine assignment. What are you talking about? You think we're guards? Bollocks! Little Bedden must not have made it back. We're up against Evett's more orders. Fell Orden's up there, and Victor Longdeath's handiwork you've already seen. Mm, they call me Longdeath, all right? two sorties up the path, but it's trapped to oblivion. Now I'd be thankful just to get out of here alive. No fair, God Dog! You've brought friends! Shut your mouth! <laughs> Fell Orden, Victor Longdeath, what are you talking about? They've been robbing and raping for Maker knows how long. Did a broad daylight assault on the keep to rescue one of their number two years back. Fell Orden, a blood mage, is here. Victor Longdeath, Sophie. We have to end them. Isn't it suicide to stay pinned down here? We're pinned down right now, but so are they. If we run, Everett's Marauders escape again. So we've been Looks wasting reinforcements. Fuck. Victor's arrows and Auden's fireballs taking their toll. But we can How still is this a routine down. patrol if she's fucking got these guys? The longer we wait, the more of us they'll kill. Let's attack now. I'm with you, but my men may be too rattled to join us. Evitz marauders. They're just men. Flesh and bone. Flesh can be torn. Bones can be broken. Alone, they Shields will pick sundered. you one by one. <laughs> Together, we are unstoppable. And that was so Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I hate this thing they do with the fucking eyes. You'd make a fine captain of the guard. Look out for traps. Be careful. Everett's mortars are deadly. What? Run into all the traps? Okay. Oh. Yep. Oh, I've got you now. This isn't the first time you fought an entire army here. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hold on, blood mage. I'm gonna stun you really quick if I can. Healing would be welcome. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? You're in the perfect place, dude. Uh, whoo! <laughs> I 
That's a close one. That should be the last of them. They're all dead? Okay. I... I can't believe it. I'll tell Lieutenant Jalen at the keep what you've done. If this was Origins, sure you would have killed you. all the guards. <laughs> Especially her, and there'd be like a funeral right now. But I'm not the Grey Warden. Yeah, that dude was kind of an asshole. Didn't care about the lives of anybody around him. No, he just cared about the no. overall picture. That is it. Rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. <laughs> if I remember correctly, in Inquisition, one of the biggest choices that you can make in the whole game is at like the very start of the game. Really? Yeah. Like you basically get to decide the future of the Chantry at the very start of the Jesus. game within just the first few hours as like your first big choice that's probably going to affect the next games greatly. What's Nakunari? What do the Kunari need to be out here for? They live in the city now. They live in the city because of Knight Commander Meredith. That fucking bitch. Tiva. And Tiva. Just got a fucking quest for doing that? God damn it. Or maybe it was already a quest. Probably something from all your letters. Yeah. This says updated. Yeah.